What's up graphic designers? Photoshop is all around us, including in this retail store. And so one of the things we're going to be doing this semester is deconstructing professional graphic design and reimagining it with our own themes. Now I remember in our last class we learned that pressing Command Plus zooms in on an image and if we press the letter H that pulls up the hand tool and then we can simply pan across the canvas. And I'm going to press Command Minus to zoom out. And here we have a collage for the North Face. So what we're going to do is take some inspiration for this, and I can see that um, all of the pieces in this collage are pretty thematically similar, right? So they're out and about, you know, climbing a summit and camping outside and um, all bundled up as they like, you know, climb the peak of these random mountains. What we're going to do instead is we're going to be creating a collage that represents who you are and what you love. And so I'm going to be sharing with you some of the things that represent who I am. Uh, but before I do that, I'll give you a few examples of um, collages that students have produced in the past. So here's a great example and here's another one. You're going to include your favorite TV shows, your favorite music, sports, snacks, places you've come from or maybe places that you want to go. So what is the very first thing that we're going to do? You're going to open up that blank and I'm going to press Command Plus to zoom in a tad and then you're going to return to Google Chrome and you're going to do a Google search for images of things that you love and I've got to start off every morning with uh, some Starbucks coffee in my kitchen and what we're going to do is you're going to right click, you're going to select copy image, you're going to return to Photoshop, you're going to press command V to paste. Amazing. I'm going to return to Google Chrome. Um, I eat at least two, if not three apples a day, Honeycrisp apples. And so we're going to right click, left click, copy image, return to Photoshop, command V to paste. And then let's add a few more things. So I'm a graduate of UConn, University of Connecticut. And... Uh, very proud of that school. Love that school. LeBron James is amazing, especially 2016 LeBron. Command C, or right click, copy image, command V to paste. So right click, we got to get a velociraptor. It's my favorite dinosaur. And then every evening before I go to sleep, I read the New Yorker. Right click, copy image, command V to paste. And so what do I know? I know that I pasted a, uh, a few Honeycrisp apples in here a moment ago, but I do not see them. They're not gone. They're not deleted. Instead, they're just underneath this pile of visuals and I know that when I look at the uh, layers palette on the right side I can see that they're labeled one through six so I'm gonna right click and I'm actually gonna increase the size of the thumbnails and um, what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna talk about a new tool the move tool that's the very top tool on the toolbar on the left hand side and so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna click and I'm gonna drag and I'm gonna be shifting these around a little bit and this looks great and so here is what I know. I know that on the very bottom, I've got my Pike Place, and I can see that when I click on the Pike Place um, visual itself, and I look at the Layers palette, it's highlighted. Likewise, when I click on LeBron, it jumps to Layer 4, the, the uh, LeBron layer. When I click on the Apples, it jumps to Layer 2, and it's you know jumping around as I click from image to image. So what should we do if we want the Starbucks coffee on top? Well, we're going to jump to the Layers palette. I'm going to left click layer one and I'm going to drag it to the top. Beautiful. And now it's on top. That's great. I'm going to want this uh, coffee a little bit smaller. So what we're going to do now is we're going to press command T to shrink the size of the coffee. When you press command T and grab a corner, you can modify its size. Now that's not realistic, nor is this. So I'm going to press escape to start over and I'm going to press command T. And now to keep it proportional, I'm going to hold shift. I'm going to grab a corner and I'm going to shrink it down like so. And I like that. That looks great. And I love the New Yorker. So I'm going to press command T. I'm going to have this featured a little bit more prominently. So I'm going to click hold shift and I'm going to press check to confirm. And so now uh, what I'm going to do is I want the apples to be on top. So I'm going to click and I'm going to drag and I'm going to be reorienting all of these images on this document in a way that's aesthetically pleasing. I'm gonna click and drag the Velociraptor to the top. I'm gonna to shift this around and of course, we're gonna to need to add our name. So I'm gonna click on the type tool, which we learned yesterday. I'm gonna click and uh, let's add it right here. So you're gonna write your first name, last name, and I'm gonna write Andrew Drozd. And one of the things that I recognize is that it's this deep red. We don't want this color. So I'm gonna highlight this text and I'm going to click on this uh, red box up here. I'm going to click and drag over on the color picker from red to white. I'm going to press OK to confirm. I'm going to press check. And then I'm going to increase the size of this text. And to do that, we're going to press Command T. 
I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to drag it up. We're going to press check to confirm. And then I'm, again, I'm going to use the move tool and I'm going to click in on lot, shift this over here. And all of a sudden we're off to a great start in a collage that represents who I am. Now, if you have, if you're sort of stuck, if you're confused about what you think you should include, or if you need some infor, uh, inspiration, you can include your favorite food, musician, your favorite athlete, place, flag, your favorite video game, maybe somewhere you always want to go. Uh, I'm super excited to see what you guys produce. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Good luck.